Hello and welcome to this video, which is a continuation of Monday's video. You can click my face to go and watch that now. It's about all my peeves about Arrow in the last couple of years. This video is explaining how I would sort of break down that problem and fix it, and what my ideal season 5 would be. So, before we get into it, I want to explain what I'm going to do with Felicity. This season, like next episode, because it's going to have to happen soon, there's going to be another dreamy Oliver Queen carbon copy, basically. It's going to come into Felicity's life, and they're going to start a relationship, and then they're going to go off to their own spin-off show. Turns out he's also a vigilante in another city. Call him the Barrow or something. I, I don't know. I don't really care. Pitch it as a rom-com. Move all of your Felicity drama to there. Curtis takes it for as Felicity in the intro. First off, we're going to need to lay some groundwork at the end of this season. We're going to kill off a lot of characters. Like, I mean, most of the cast. You're left with Laurel gone off to train somewhere at the start of season 5. Oliver and Diggle back the way it should. Lila helping out occasionally, being like their version of Overwatch. This state school happens for like the first five episodes. The villain of this sort of season, or we think the villain of the season, is Merlin. He's mad at Oliver for not protecting Thea from Hive, so he sort of started this corporate group to tear apart Oliver and the Green Arrow's life, basically. Similar to the Undertaker. A lot of callbacks to that. In the first couple of episodes, they've been dealing with white com collar criminals in a sort of procedural way. Uh, Oliver has formed, well, he's attempted l at love with Quentin's replacement, because Quentin has also bit the dust at this point, and who is young and female and sort of fills the friend role for Oliver. They try romantic relationships, sparks don't fly. That's fine, they keep being friends. Anyway, Laurel comes back and she works with Team Arrow and she, they fight together, Diggle, Oliver and Laurel, and together they're able to take down Onomatopoeia, who would be the sort of villain of those sort of episodes. He would link in with a Flash crossover because he's also hired to take out the Flash. And so at the end of the mid-season, end of episode 9 or 10 or whatever, they take their break, Laurel and Oliver get into a relationship. Merlin is at a conference thing with his evil board and he's talking about how we must address this sort of pesky Oliver Queen. Gets shot in the back repeatedly with some arrows, falls flat in the face. Guy, black arrow costume, walks forward, pulls down the hood, reveals himself as the true villain, it's Tommy Merlin, as the Dark Archer, making the rest of the season much more personal. The rest of the season we've got Deathstroke comes back, Roy comes back, he's not dead, he's still alive, yay, and he, it, he acts as a sort of sidekick for Oliver as well, although he can be turned against Oliver in a sort of Red Hood arc, but he gets some redemption. By the end of the season, they take down um, Tommy, and it's Oliver, Laurel, and Roy, and Diggle as well, um, together working to save the city. Flashbacks. Now, a lot of people don't like the flashbacks, but I think the flashbacks have the potential to be really good. What they need to do by the end of this season is get Oliver off the island and into Russia where he's sort of forced, in season 5, he'd be forced by the Bratva to basically take people out to kill them, and um, letting in that darkness. He's aided by like a sort of Russian Felicity Sisko type, who sort of helps him on these missions. And this goes on until about the mid-season. Then as they come back going into the flashback episode, um, that's their sort of escape. Oliver and the Russian guy escape together and somehow end up back on Lian Yu. Yeah, on Lian Yu, the, towards the back half of the season, there's maybe a minor antagonist to take down, maybe Slade Wilson, something like that, and they end up using Lian Yu as a base of operations to sort of plan Oliver's return to Star City, or Starling as it was known back then. And they plan that, and... <laughs> In the final episode, Oliver goes super dark, 
and they see the ship arriving, they've built the beacon, all over fire, fires the arrow, and snaps the guy's neck, and says, no one can know my secret, and leaves him there to die. And that's how I really want Arrow Season 5 to play out, and it's probably not going to play out like that, but if any of the Arrow production team are watching this, please, it would be great, although you'd probably mess it up, like you messed up Season 3 and 4, both of which had great concepts. Season 4, uh, uh, Star City 2046 is basically what Season 4 should have been. A dying city overrun with criminals and the Green Arrow and his team being the only point of justice. But that's another rant for another time. Watch the old video if you haven't done so, and like, comment and subscribe if you're a new viewer. That'd help me out. And thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.